Hi guys. Ah, this is Sherry, uh, and welcome to the Eyes Have It. Haven't seen you guys for a while. Not on the real camera. Done a couple on the phone uh, with no makeup. Not really my favorite way to do things, but hey. So what has happened today is that my friend Jean said to me the other night, would you want to go to Salisbury, Maryland, which is an hour away from us and is the closest Ulta store to us, the closest pretty much any any store to us. I realized, oh, I have a $16 anniversary gift for being having a Kohl's card for 16 years. So I wanted to buy something. So I ran over to the beauty area because I, I knew I didn't have the tr time to try on anything. And I thought, you know, what is there something small that um, I don't already have that I can grab that I that I can pretty much depend on is going to be an okay choice. Well, uh, I saw the uh, the balm in stain blushes, and I have one, and uh, it's, the the pigmentation is just off the hook on these things. So I said, let me just cut a color I don't have, and I can do it fast. So I got the um, the in stain blush. So pretty packaging. They just know how to do it. And this is in 12. And that is the word, the color name. So it comes in a little case, all fancy like. And then it's like a little book with a magnet magnetized closure. So this is that. And the nice thing about these blushes is that, you know, you can stick your brush in there a little bit and get, you know, a, a lighter look. Or you can, you know, really go in there and get that kind of color payoff. Really amazing color payoff. And they actually stain your skin so that you get a good long last out of it. So that was my only purchase at Kohl's. Then we popped over to Ulta. And I picked up a couple of things I, I, that I that were repurchases and one or two things that were new. Okay, let's start with hair. Uh, you know I've been all about the Matrix Biolage line of hair products for mm, a year or two, I guess. And I knew I already had an extra Hydrosource shampoo as backup. Uh, but I was pretty sure I didn't have a conditioner as backup, and I'm running low on that. So I went ahead and picked up, and it comes in many, many varieties, different kinds of hair, different hair issues, and that type of thing. But I decided to get the um, Color Last conditioner for color-treated hair. It's really thick and creamy. Uh, probably would be too much for anybody with oily hair. But my hair is kind of on the dry normal side and it's color treated. So, um, yeah, I decided to go ahead and get that. And other repurchases was the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I really, really love. Between that one and the IT Cosmetic one, I kind of reach for one of the two of those most of the time. I have higher end brow products, but I have a hard time being blonde. Uh, I have a hard time getting just the right shade. So to tell you the truth, I had planned to buy this, but I forgot to look at the color that I already had because I have one, but it's running out. So I took a leap of faith and I got ash brown. So this is what they are, if you haven't seen it before. It's a really skinny pencil. It's got the eyebrow pencil on one end. Really nice, fine eyebrow pencil. And then on the other end, it's got a really nice, fine spoolie. Some of the spoolies are so chunky. And I have almost no brows. My brows are very sparse and light. So I don't like a big spoolie. It just seems to not, I can't get the control that I want. I decided to get another one of these. This is the Pure Hydro Lift Gel. You've heard me talk about it and talk about it. Uh, I picked the first one up, not my, my last Ulta haul, or my last Sephora haul, whichever it was, is when I got it. And um, it's this tiny little thing, 
but it has this amazing cooling gel. It's pale pink, like a milky pink. And you put it on under your eyes or wherever you want to put it. It's not only cooling, but it's moisturizing without being wet or funky. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my favorite, uh, there it is, lemon drop. Uh, my favorite flavor of EOS Lip Balm. I have not been able to find it anywhere. I have replaced all my other ones, my pomegranate, my coconut, all the other ones, but I could not find the lemon drop anywhere, and luckily they had it there. I eat mainly lobster. Maybe more coral and less orange than the one that died a horrible death. So in a way, that is a repurchase. This I decided to get. This is a sort of kind of repurchase in that this is the NYX eyeshadow base, and I don't use this all the time, but I have the skin tone one, the nude one, whatever they call it, that I use once in a blue moon. But I find myself a lot of times using light or bright colors on my lids and wishing that I had a white eyeshadow base, which makes those lights and brights really stand out. And so I decided while I was there in the next section getting my eyebrow pencil, I would go ahead and get the white version of this eyeshadow base. I wanted to do a repurchase of the Bare Minerals Primetime Eyelid Primer. I looked and I looked and I looked through the Bare Minerals section at Ulta. Couldn't find it. So finally I grabbed a, a lady, an employee, and I said, you know, what am I missing? And she says, well, I think they've repackaged it. And it's now in one of those clickable little brush things like Maybelline makes. And I didn't like it, and so I uh, and I decided not to get that. I have so much eye primer, and I just bought a, a new Mary Kay eyelid primer at the Mary Kay party I went to a couple of weeks ago, so I decided not to get that. So while I was walking away from the bare mineral section, I walked through the Urban Decay section. And I looked down, and I saw lashes, and I said, Urban Decay sells lashes. I did. I had no idea. I had. I don't remember ever seeing it before. But what I noticed, I'm gonna take it out of the case so you can see it better. What I noticed is that these are really nice, short lashes, and I always find that regular strip lashes are too long for me to end up cutting them. So I thought, well, these are nice and short, and they're also you know, pretty light in terms of uh, in terms of the heaviness, and I just can't carry. You know, like uh, Jennifer over at Makeup by Shea, she can carry those big lashes. Uh, a lot of people can carry them. I'm not a person who can carry them. But when I saw these, I thought, "Ooh, let me give that a try." This is called Insta Lure. This is this particular style. And they all have Insta something. Um, and this one's called Insta Lure. And it does come with its own little thing of lash glue there. Although I'll probably use my own. All right, let me shut my yap and let you good folks go. Take care, be well, and always be yourself. And you have no idea how much it means to me when you write me and tell me that my telling you to be yourself has actually meant something to you and has actually improved your life. That means a great deal to me. It's not just something I say, it's something I live and believe very deeply. Bye! Big purple kisses. <laughs>